Uh, hi guys, this is my first video of demonstration of how I can uh, turn off start stop using my TNC4 uh, acting as the gateway on CAN bus. So as you turn on the car, uh, it's been not in sleep yet, uh, so you can see uh, the start stop is active. Uh, here I have some um, outputs uh, out of TNC to see or debug my code, but now it should work fine. So uh, here I will turn off the start stop. Okay, you can see the message on the display, and there also I have uh, some debug outputs, which is actually not so necessary because it works. So now I will turn off the car and we will have to wait uh, like minute or two until the uh, the car gets to sleep so turn off the car so the TNC still uh, keeps forwarding the uh, the messages as the car uh, right after uh, turning the engine off uh, still keeps for sending the messages uh, i will pause the video for like one minute and then i will resume the video all right, now uh, the parking indicator has gone, so it's likely it's very likely that it will turn off very soon. Uh, we will see it on uh, on less LED activity on the TNC, uh, and right after that last one will stop uh, flashing, uh, the TNC will get to sleep. So this is also demonstration how to put TNC in low power mode to draw as less current as possible and how to wake it up uh, based on current message uh, coming from the car which is actually that cable that uh, that one green uh, brown goes to NAC which is the radio that one goes to uh, that keyboard and uh, visual assistant EQ so you see it's flashing really really I mean less than before which will indicate that the car goes to sleep which actually that bit sorry so the car is at sleep the TNC sleeps and now I will uh, turn on the engine and start you will see here without me touching anything that the start stop has been deactivated automatically while still uh, the radio boots some debug output I have there So after the, yeah, okay, that's up, so we can see that the status is off again, even if I didn't press anything, and I can now cancel the, uh, the start-stop deactivation by simply turning this on. So here it shows that it's active, and next time uh, the car will be started, uh, the start-stop will not be deactivated. So that's for it now and hope you enjoyed the video and next time I will probably do some better I, I can see that it's a little bit foggy uh, I'm blurry and so hopefully next time it will be there there will be a better video so I will cancel that again bye